Hey guys, you should have finished your split workout and this is your extra 20 minutes. Now, if you want to burn more fat, you have to do straight cardio. I know, seems boring, right? But it will make a big difference over these next 30 days. So straight cardio is where you're at, 50 seconds on with a 10 second rest. Do skip in, do bike. If you just want to put your head down and just watch me and while you're on your bike or your ellipticals or your treadmills just for some company and you just want to walk for 20 minutes, you're doing something that's cardio based if you want to burn more fat. If like me, you're not interested in burning a load of fat during this challenge, you want to increase your muscle while staying lean, you're going to mix these up for the, uh, a different move. So you can pick whatever you want. Today, I am doing uh, ball slams, I am doing um, swings, step ups, I must be mad. Uh, and that's how it's going to roll for me. So that's how I'm going to go. Uh, if you want to join me, you definitely can. We're going to start with our ball. Uh, we're going to do some slams, 50 seconds. Then we're going to do some swings. Then we're going to do some step ups. I hope you're ready for that because I am. You ready? Okay, then 20 minutes. It's a 10 second rest period that is not very long. So make sure that you are ready. Nadia says day one is done. What did you think, Nadia? Day two is much worse. I just did it. Um, are we ready then? Yeah? Three, start your watches. Functional training. So again, if you're wanting to burn fat, this is where you get on your bikes, you get on your skipping ropes. That's what you're gonna do. I think I might do one round of skipping, just one. I just feel like a little bit of cardio would be nice. I'm gonna do so I'm going to start with the round of skipping, then go on to my balls, then swings, then step ups. Got it? Let's go, 10 seconds. Skipping without my shoes on. Is that a good idea? I don't know. We'll soon know. Four, three, two, last one. Let's go. So one round of skipping, then into your ball throws if you're following me. If you're not, you should stay on your cardio. So we're on week two. We're in it now. 30 seconds. Swings are next. Remember, this is all extra. If you're doing your cardio, you are going all out on that cardio. Three, two, one, let's go. Step ups with or without the weight. 
obviously we're using weight, aren't we, advanced people? Yes, we are. So, 7.5s, one side, down you go, all the way up, down you go, good. Let's go. So if you're on your bike, let's get it going. If you're on your treadmills, if you are walking on your treadmill, you are not holding on with your hands, are you? No. Slow it down. Take the hands away. Five, two, last one. 10 seconds. Oh. Five, four, three, two, last one. Let's go. Thirty four, down you go. I have to say, I've been loving this challenge so far. Leg day has been my favourite. I'm hoping what this challenge makes you realise is that you need to lift. You need resistance. 10. 3, 2, last one. Back to the start. Back to skipping. Three, two, one, let's go. Seems like a rest compared to the rest of this. Slams. Let's go. Shoulders from the rest of the week. Functional training. How many times do you have to pick your kids up off the floor? Ten. Five. Swings are next. Oops. Woo! 
Let's go. Two, one, drive it over to the side. balance my body out. I know that sounds stupid, but when you're very in tune with your body, there's been a couple of times, <sighs> slums, there's been a couple of times where I feel like one side of my body is on the floor more than the other. My hips are not quite as aligned as they should be. And I want to make sure that it's not my trainers. And since I've been taking my trainers off, I've noticed that all of those niggly problems I had have stopped. So I reckon I need some new trainers. There's a lot to be said about just grounding your feet to the floor. I don't know whether any of you have read about grounding, where you walk barefoot on grass, but if you want to Google it, there's quite a lot of research about the Earth's energies and reconnecting with the Earth, etc., etc. Not, I'm not sure how much I believe in it, but I do like the feel of my feet being on the floor. Swings, let's go. Very real. <laughs> We're aiming for that 100 calories, remember? Don't tell me you don't have 20 minutes in your day, because you definitely do. Let's go. Everyone does. And even if you've burnt 100 calories every day, something's better than nothing. This for me is more beneficial, working through resistance as opposed to just burning fat, because I don't have a lot of fat to burn. So you have to think smart. I'm still in my fat burning zone. But I'm keeping that really important muscle. Three, I'm getting stronger. Remember, the more you do something, the stronger your body will be. Let's 
Skip it. Let's go. Skip it out. Four calories I'm aiming up there. Let's go. Remember your legs do the work. Thirty-five. Ten seconds, come on. Last one. Ah hello from Nebraska. Swings. Let's go. Two. One. Woo! Let's go. All legs. Thirty seconds. Oh, I am dying. Ninety-five. One forty-four is my heart rate, and I haven't done any really major cardio yet. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Let's go. Here it comes, I'm going to 100. That's my 100 done. That's my 100 done. You've only got to do it twice a week, I'm not asking the earth of you. Other side, Lise, you've done that one already. I'm not asking the earth of you, I'm asking you to do 100 calories in 20 minutes. If you want to burn fat, you just do cardio. If you want to burn fat, but keep that muscle, you work through resistance. 15. Down. 10. 5. 2. Last one. Normally on these workouts, I'm burning between 110. 140 depending on how hard I'm working. I'm at 106 already. Pick your rope up. Let's finish it. Wow. What a way to finish our leg day. I think you will, after you get to this last countdown, I think you're going to appreciate just how fun this challenge is going to be and how much it's going to push you in all the right ways. I've been working you up to this challenge for a couple of weeks if you're on the platform, so you should be ready for this mentally. Yes, there might be some things that you're not used to. There might be a few muscles that you haven't worked for a minute but I've been building you up to this challenge for a few weeks. 
So you should be ready for whatever I throw at you to take it on, to really smash it out and to enjoy the fact that you've got a new challenge in your life that you are going to smash and you are going to really succeed at because I'm going to be with you every single day. done and I think you'll agree that was enough <laughs> we're good these last time together then let's do it well done today if you moved up in your weights if you just stay where you are next time on the next time you do this challenge I promise you you will be lifting more it's all about confidence I mean, I don't care what you say. Those two workouts back to back. That's a session right there. I mean, most people pay 35, 45. I mean, in, in America, they pay 100 and something dollars for a PT session like that. Standard day for us. I'll see you tomorrow. Stretch. I would definitely stretch. Bye.